guys, I'm Melissa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you every single thing that I eat and drink in a day as a vegan who follows low calorie density. Now, if you've never heard of calorie density or you are new to my channel, then I will put some really helpful video links in the description box of this video. Some are other videos from my channel where I show examples of calorie density and explain exactly how I follow it and how I was able to lose 25 pounds eating this way without weighing or measuring my food or counting calories. Um, and I will also share some really informative webinars that I watched that really gave me a solid understanding of this information and uh, hopefully that will help you out as well. All right, let's get into the food. All right, so for breakfast, I am gonna be making oatmeal and I'm really excited because I've got some fig jam and I got this at Marshall's for $3.49. So I am going to add some fig jam, which I absolutely love. It's sweet and just adds a really nice flavor to the oatmeal. If you like figs and you like oatmeal and you've never tried fig jam, I highly recommend it. And then I'm gonna add cinnamon, a little bit of ground cloves, stevia for even more sweetness, and a bit of soy milk to add some creaminess to the oatmeal as well. And I've got my frozen blueberries. Alright, so what I do is I put the piping hot oatmeal on top of the frozen berries and they melt quite quickly. Go fig jam. And lots of cinnamon as per usual. And a bit of soy milk. Let's give this a really good stir and it smells delicious. Cinnamony goodness. And I'm gonna add a bit of stevia in as well just to get extra sweetness. And there we go, a super yummy big bowl of oatmeal to keep me full for hours. All right, for lunch, I'm gonna make one of my all-time favorite meals. And if you've watched several of these videos on my channel, you will have seen this before because I, I just love making this. So basically what I do is I slice up these potatoes into fries, but they're not gonna be fried and I'm not using any oils. I just bake them on a baking sheet in the oven at 450 for about 25 minutes until they're nice and crispy. And uh, I'm gonna blend up a really yummy dip. So what I'm gonna be putting in the dip is an entire can of black beans. I'm gonna rinse them out first. Uh, I got a, a bit of an onion here that's left over. I'll probably put half of this, so one quarter of an onion. I'm gonna put some dark leafy greens and some liquid smoke, some sriracha, some lemon juice, and a splash of apple cider vinegar. As you can see, this is gonna be very, very, very flavorful. Um, if you like foods just a bit more simple tasting, then you can put you know, one of these. You don't need to add all of this in here. Um, for me personally, I just like food to be spicy and tangy and have all of these yummy flavors. So that's what I put in. But you could also keep it simple and just use salt and pepper um, and uh, get as creative as you like. So I like to slice the potato into thin pieces like this because it just makes the fries come out crispier. Perfect for dipping. Right, we're adding in our onion, a bit of vinegar, liquid smoke, lemon juice, and sriracha, and a bit of pepper. 
some salt. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up. If when you're making your dip it seems a little bit too thick, then just add a tiny bit of water. But I highly recommend not putting the water in first because if you make it too runny, then you can't go back and thicken it up. Voila, here we go, the finished product. Super easy and very tasty. All right, so I'm gonna show you something that I do when my bananas get nice and ripe. As you can see, I buy bananas in bulk for my smoothies, and I just have these little glass, I guess meal prep containers that I use to store the bananas in my freezer and it just makes it easy when I want a smoothie all I have to do is grab you know one of these containers out of the freezer and throw in some greens and some berries and some cinnamon and just makes life easier it's actually amazing what finding little tiny hacks that work for you will do for your productivity and will do for helping you stay on track with your healthy eating little tiny action steps that you can do will really really have a big impact on how easy or how difficult you make healthy eating for yourself. I heard this story that I found interesting and I wanted to share it with you of this mom who was trying to get her teenage boys to eat healthier and she would buy all of this you know healthy produce and keep it in the fridge and they would never touch it they would just keep reaching for the junk food, for the chips and for crackers and packaged foods. Um, and so what she did was she took a big plastic bowl and picked off all of the grapes off of the bunch of grapes, washed them, and then put that in the fridge. And she said literally within one afternoon all of the grapes were eaten. So just that tiny little bit of effort that they weren't willing to make to eat healthy was what it took to get them to eat those, those grapes. And we can do those little tiny tweaks with ourselves. Something as easy as prepping these bananas and putting them in the freezer for myself so that when I'm craving something sweet, I can go and make a smoothie. Um, it, it makes a big difference. Now some people might look at that and think, oh that banana's gone off, it's all spotty, it's not good to eat anymore, I have to throw it out. But that's actually how I like my bananas because these ones are fine on the inside. They're just very soft and very, very sweet, which makes for a very delicious smoothie. All right, now I'm gonna make a veggie rice tofu bowl and it's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to cook some rice. Usually I'll make extra just so I have some rice ready for tomorrow if I'm hungry and I don't really feel like preparing anything uh, that takes too much time. And for the tofu, silken is like a creamier type of tofu and uh, it's usually better for desserts, but uh, this is what I've got, so this is what I'm using. And all I do is I slice this up. I'm gonna be using half um, of this container and I'm going to slice it up, put it on a baking tray in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes and I'm going to put all of my spices on top as some frozen mixed vegetables. I'm going to be adding some corn because there's no corn in that mixed vegetables selection. And I'm going to be mixing in some black beans as well. I was going to do kidney beans because I thought I had some, but I don't, so I'm going to be using black beans for this. I'm going to chop up some lettuce, add that in, and also some raw onion. Obviously, if you'd like, you can saute or steam the onions, but I actually like the crunch and the flavor of raw onion. And, uh, and this is what I'm going to be seasoning the dish with. Pepper, paprika, garlic powder, sriracha, and lemon juice. You could also add a bit of soy sauce if you like that, but uh, this is what I'm doing for this dish. You can get a couple of containers like this and just put some extra rice, veggies, and tofu and beans in there and have some lunches for the next couple of days.
and a bit of black pepper. As you can see, I'm not shy with the spices. I just kind of load it up. And tofu doesn't really have a flavor. It really absorbs whatever flavoring you put on it. So you can kind of customize it for whatever you like. All right, here is the rice bowl. It's ready to eat. I'm just gonna add some sriracha for some spice. And a bit of lemon juice. And a bit more garlic powder, cause why not? And that's it. I did make a lot extra, so I'm eating this now, but everything else that I made will go into those glass containers for leftovers. I'm gonna take a moment to answer a few questions that I've gotten from you both on Instagram and here on YouTube. And one that I get asked a lot is, how long did it take for me to lose 25 pounds eating this way? And for me, the weight loss was very slow and steady. It was about one pound a week. Some weeks it was half a pound. And so I was by no means in a rush. I was not trying to lose as much weight as quickly as possible. I just followed this way of eating always eating until I'm comfortably full, never eating under the hunger drive, and I just let my body get to the weight range that it got to. And so I really recommend not hyper-focusing on the scale or the number. Instead, focus on the process instead of the outcome. All you can do is do your best each and every day to choose healthy meal choices. And so I just focused on making these healthy food choices, making sure that I'm never eating under the hunger drive, always eating until I'm comfortably full and satisfied. And that's why I really recommend finding meals that you love. Because if you enjoy the food, then every day is a pleasure because you get to eat food that you really enjoy. And so hopefully these videos help to give you some really easy uh, meal options that you can try at home and, and just experiment uh, on your own as well to see what you like and to see what you really enjoy. And when you find something that you like, stick with it. Just get three breakfasts, three lunches, and three dinners. Have those on rotation and uh, really just enjoy the food. Another question that I get asked quite a bit, and I was asked this a few times this week, was about exercise. And did I do any specific exercise routines in order to lose weight? And the answer is no. Exercise is super important for health. I walk a lot. I walk at least 10,000 steps a day, sometimes 15,000 or more. And I love to walk outside in nature. I love to stretch my body. It's great for circulation. It's great for so many things and definitely a mood booster, especially because I live in Arizona. So getting that vitamin D from the sun and so, and so for me, I can say that the weight loss was a result of the food choice and the exercise that I do is for my body's overall health, flexibility, circulation, and just feeling good. All right, so it is tea time and I'm gonna have one of my all-time favorite teas, which is this Vermont ginger maple and a little bit of stevia. go enjoy this cup of tea and I'm gonna put a couple of potatoes in the oven and have some baked potatoes as a snack. If you only make one tiny tweak in the direction of lower calorie density in your diet, I recommend including potatoes in your diet. Potatoes are only 350-ish calories per pound. They're so filling and satisfying and they're also very inexpensive. I buy them by 10 pound bags at a time and uh, that lasts me for quite a while. All right, it is snack time and I've got two baked potatoes. 
such an easy snack or meal because they're very filling. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some ketchup and this one has no high fructose corn syrup. Got some ketchup on here and some garlic powder. some salt and pepper. And away we go. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not yet following me on Instagram, you can find me at melissaalexandria01. And you can also subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so that you're notified of my future uploads on this channel. I'm also gonna put some really, really helpful, informative video links all about calorie density in the description box of this video and I recommend checking those out. All right, I'll see you next time. Until then, have a beautiful day. Bye.